Stay with me. One, two, three. One more. I felt that I could have got two more. What's up guys? Ken Jackson here. Um, just finished a, a chest shoulder workout. Uh, still, I'm uh, working with uh, John Meadows uh, this year. We switched over. I switched um, from Neil to John um, after the Chicago Pro in July. Things have been going pretty well. I'm very excited about the package, the new uh, improved package, uh, the new improved uh, lagging body parts that have come up. Um, so um, I can't wait to get on stage and show you guys what um, we've done. Today we did, uh, we started off with decline dumbbells. Basically we went up uh, eight reps, nice and deep. We went up three-fourths lockout, so really no lockout. Um, he was um, uh, focusing on the stretch of the movement. I went all the way up to the 175 dumbbells and did three sets of eight with the 175s. I think my last set, I busted out 20 reps with that. And no, those are not fake dumbbells, they're real. Um, so that's why my training partners hand me the weights because I don't want to tear a shoulder up doing, trying to flip weights. Um, so the next thing we did was barbell press. We, I went all the way up to 455, I think. Um, failed at 455 at like three or four reps. The previous set did 405 for uh, six reps. But the uh, emphasis was on holding it at the bottom and then exploding up. So he wanted a one, two second pause at the bottom and then explode up. And then he didn't want us to go all the way down. So he wanted only an inch above the chest and then exploding up. Uh, the next set, we went to flat bench dumbbells, or I'm sorry, barbell presses. We just did straight six reps, nothing fancy, just up, down, up, down for six reps. It went all the way up to kind of a personal record, went to uh, 495, never gone that really heavy before. Um, had a spot, I don't know how much he was spotting me, um, when I look at the vid, I'll see how much he was spotting me. But uh, uh, that was the heaviest I've ever gone on bench press. Um, John basically kind of said he's never seen a presser like me before. He hasn't seen someone press the amount of weight that I, that I can press. I mean, I'm just used to pressing that way. I've been, I've been a good presser all my life, so I think it's just one of those things. People are good squatters, deadlifters. I'm just a good chest presser. So um, The next thing we did, one arm pec deck. I really like this movement, and I haven't done it. It was um, incorporated through Meadows Mountain Dog um, because it really focuses on the squeeze and the pump. Um, I have a one of my lagging body parts is obviously my chest, so we've had to work on it to, for it to come up, and I think it's actually come up a lot since uh, working with John. Um, but I really like this movement because it focuses on one individual pec, and then you can go to the next. So um, we did three sets of ten reps, and then we moved on to shoulders. I don't like training shoulders with chest because I'm dog ass tired, um, but. Uh, John likes it because you already have a pump in your shoulder, so he wants to just finish it off. And with my shoulders being dominant, it's kind of good because of the fact that, like, I do chest first and work on my lagging part and then basically kind of work on a part that's already dominant. So um, it kind of works out well, works out to, uh, really well together. And I think what's happening is I'm filling out my chest and it's matching my, sh my shoulders, and I just don't look, like, shoulder um, heavy when I hit front poses. Um, the first exercise we went rear delts. Um, we did a kind of a cable pull where we pulled overhead from high from a high pulley um, system. We did uh, three. I think no, we did four sets of uh, ten to twelve reps, um, squeezing. And it's funny because you a lot of you guys are like, what kind of what's that? I don't feel that movement. But if you do this movement correctly, you'll feel it straight in the rear delt. Um, it's actually a really good movement uh, for your rear delts. And John's a big. Um, rear, rear delt guy um, because in certain poses it really finishes off 
you know, different poses like your side chest, your side tricep, when you're turning around from the back, really incorporates kind of your whole body. It's kind of kind of like a cap to some of those poses. Um, next movement, we moved into front delt movement with barbell. It was, uh, we did four sets of 10 to 12 reps. And then the last movement, which you guys probably have never seen before, is a cage press, which I've never done until I start working with John. And um, it looks easy, but believe me, it's not. Um, it's very tiresome. And I know we only did six reps, so a lot of guys out there are probably like, that's not even a lot of reps, but you don't really need to do a lot of reps. And he's training really the movement for explosiveness. Um, a lot of John's movements are explosive movements, um, which build you know, muscle tissue, fast muscle, fast twitch muscle fibers. Um, so a lot of things he does is like six to eight reps, um, five reps. Uh, I don't, he, we don't go any lower than five reps. Um, the most reps that we do is probably like 10 to 12. We might do a triple drop set or something like that, but we're not going crazy with the reps. But I found since I've been working with him since August that all the reps, you know, my joints don't hurt and I'm building muscle, a lot of muscle um, at a rapid pace and rate. Um, so the last movement was cage presses, and basically what you do is you take a barbell and you press against a cage, and you make sure that the contact is intact with the bar in the cage, and you have to press against the cage. Um, so it kind of creates a little added friction um, on the, the uh, concentric contraction, um, and then you actually have to control the eccentric contraction down. Um, so we finished off with that, and in the beginning of our workout, we did abs, which we just started doing. Um, abs and calves at the beginning of our workout because what was happening, sorry, John, we were skipping it because <laughs> we were so tired at the end. But now it's business and time to uh, hunker down and get, you know, to it because, you know, in less than eight, six or eight months, I'll be into prep and then getting ready for a Tampa Pro in August. So it's all business. So, um, so we do calves and abs like every other day, three days a week, and then we throw that in at the beginning of the workout. Um, so it makes sure it gets done. So no skipping out on anything. Um, and then obviously I was training with my tr two training partners, Jay and Junior. Um, Junior's supposed to be getting on stage. I don't know when, but he's, he's getting his ass on stage this year. So no excuses. Um, and that's his pops that works out, make sure everything's going at the pace that we, we need to go and make sure, you know, I'm doing the weight that I need to do. So um, everything's great. You know, uh, I want to thank uh, Rich. Gaspari Nutrition for the sponsorships and uh, and all the great new uh, supplements. Um, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, many more will be coming out. You know, I'm going to down, like once a month. I go down to see John Metals and train at Elite FTS with him and Dave Tate. Um, I don't know if you guys watched some of the YouTube videos. I know we had the 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 the, the recent leg video we did with. Um, one of John's athletes kind of puking all over himself and all over the floor while I was doing my set. So there's some pretty cool stuff that's about to come out in the next couple months. So you guys stay tuned and watch John's YouTube channel. You know, watch my, um, I'm on Twitter, Facebook, you know, I'll, I'll post constantly. And then I actually have my blog on Kaspari's website. So um, take care, guys, and um, I'll see you guys uh, in August.